so I just have a quick little video for you guys today. Um, something that probably nobody would care about on my beauty channel, so I wanted to upload it here. And maybe nobody will care about it either, but I recently got a Chromebook. And I bought it to replace my PC, my laptop that died. And I'm not like completely satisfied with my Chromebook to be completely honest. And it's really hard to do a lot of things that you can normally do on a PC. And one of the hardest things to do that I found is to edit a video. So I'm going to show you guys how to do that because I had a very hard time finding resources online since the Chromebook is so new and whatever. So I'm just going to show you guys how I edit my video starting right now. <clears throat> okay, so first things first, you have to upload your video into YouTube before doing anything else and let it process and all of that. So I usually just take my ST, my ST, my SD card and upload it to YouTube, default it to private so nobody's going to see your unedited video. And I usually do that like as soon as I'm done filming the video and just like let it do its thing and then I usually get to editing either way later in the night or the next day. So, because it does, you know, how YouTube processing time goes, it could take anywhere from 20 minutes to, you know, six hours, depending on length and quality and all that stuff. So, then you're just going to go into YouTube Editor, which is youtube.com slash editor, and I will have a link down below as well. And you're going to see all of your videos that you've, like, ever uploaded right in here. So, um, I'm going to be editing this video today, so you're just going to drag it in here. And I will zoom in for you guys. So first I'll show you what all of these little tabs do. This is the, obviously, my videos. This is Creative Commons videos. So you can take, like, you know, little scenic shots of the Golden Gate Bridge if you wanted to. These are just free videos that you can use. I'm not 100% on this, though, if you can monetize if you use these videos. Because I'll get into why I say that when I talk about the music. But... I mean, if you need a filler or something, you're probably not going to want to mo monetize a video about pur purple flowers anyway, so, you know. Um, this is photos, so I actually, this is how I do, like, my intro and stuff, because I don't have a actual uh, filmed intro yet, which I'm working on, but for now I just have this, like, picture that I use in the very beginning and I usually cut it down to like two seconds because nobody wants to stare with that forever but it is just like part of branding and all of that fun stuff and then so this is all music that you can use for free from YouTube now the only thing with this is you if you use this music you cannot monetize your video so if you're a partner um, for you know a network or if you just monetize through YouTube's partner program you're not gonna want to do this because it's you know you can't monetize your video so if you're just doing videos for fun, this is a really nice tool, but the only thing about it is, let's say I wanted to use this song, okay. <laughs> you just drag it right there. The only thing is you can't, like you can trim it, but you can't like start it later. So basically you have, your whole video has to be a song. So the only thing that this would really be practical for is like a, a channel trailer. I, I used a YouTube song for my channel trailer or like a music video or something like that. So there's the transitions. I like to use the color fade one a lot. Um, and then there's text. So this is like if you didn't have a made up little channel um, intro kind of thing. You just do like a little title. So I could do that instead of this picture that I put in. I could just make the title of this video and type it up. Uh, blah, 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 whatever that is. And you can change the font on it. You can change the size, the color, all of that stuff, background color. Okay, so that's all of the options up there. There's, and I'm wearing a red shirt in this video, so you probably can't really see it that well, but there's a little volume button. And I always do mine all the way up just because I don't have an external mic. And um, just because I don't have an external mic, so my voice is usually pretty quiet. And then there's these options. This one is to rotate it. So I use this if I record on my cell phone. I never know which way to hold my cell phone. This has a bunch of options. You can do pan and yeah. zoom. So Let me just... mute myself. Um, you can make your video black and white. You can stabilize your video, but I really don't recommend doing that. I used it in one of my makeup collection storage videos, and I actually had to de delete the video because it was so bad. Um, you can do slow motion. 
and you can do all of these kind of uh, effects, like Instagram effects, if you will. Which, yeah, I've never really used any of these, but so I don't, I can't really speak for their quality, but I probably would shy away from them. So this is the next thing. This is the text button. You just click on that little A. And it said title text because I accidentally enabled it, but it'll, the default is to be disabled. So all that you do is uncheck that box, but you can do overlay text, you know, obviously on there. I'm going to disable the text because I don't want it. And then just hit done. And then this is your trim tool. So basically you can just manually... Uh, trim it with the little arrows and then you can also there's a spot in here that I wanted to I said something stupid so I'm going to cut that out and I'll show you how to do that oh, it's a would you rather beauty tag so let's get right into it so the first question and I have my laptop down here so that's why I'm like so like nobody cares that I have where my laptop is so I'm just going to click the little scissors and that was about at 29 seconds and trim that and then play it back. Beauty tag. So let's get right into it. So the first question, and I have my laptop down here, so that's why I'm like looking down here. First question. So, and then I'm going to trim that part to where I started saying first question. Now, the only thing that sucks about the YouTube editor is that unlike iMovie or, you know, Windows Live, Movie Maker, whatever, you can't, for all of those other programs, if you click the trim button, it's just going to split your clip where where it was in playback for the editor the youtube editor you have to manually split it and this can be really difficult one thing that i find helps is down here in the right corner is this magnifying glass if you expand it your clip is going to get broken up into you know this is two second intervals so when you're clipping your your tracks you're gonna be clipping it a lot more precisely I don't even know how I guess two seconds is the most that it goes two second intervals but two second intervals is pretty you know close so you're gonna get a pretty accurate split I like to do it somewhere around here which is about seven seconds just because I can pretty much guess but it's I don't know that's just where I like to keep it so that is the only downfall. Well, okay, there's two downfalls. There's that, and then there's music. Now, if I do something like, let me see if I have an example. I'll show you. I'm just going to get rid of this. Oh, one thing I wanted to tell you, too, is you can just close out of the YouTube editor, and it's going to save, like, if I close this right now, and I open it up, youtube.com slash editor again, it's going to save it in this exact spot until I hit publish. So, I was really scared to do that. I thought it was just going to like delete my video, but it won't. Okay, so an example of audio. Like this, I did a makeup demo. And I did this whole, all of the editing, all of the text, all of that stuff in YouTube Editor. One thing you'll notice about it is there's no music or sound at all. So I, all that I did was muted the clip. And then, you know, paid attention to the time. And I tried to, I picked up my song first. So I knew that the song was about 3 minutes and 22 seconds or, you know, whatever. Or that it wouldn't sound bad if I cut it off at 3.22 or whatever the case was. And then I'll just take this, publish it, and then you can download the MP4, which I'll show you. So if you go to Video Manager, then you can see all of your videos right here. Um, these are all privated videos that I haven't published yet, but if you click this little down bar thing it'll have download mp4 so once I've published this movie in YouTube editor and have it exactly the way that I want it's just needs audio then I'll go onto like a MacBook, either my friends or my schools or whatever or my own PC and I will download the mp4 and then upload it to either iMovie or Windows Live Movie Maker and then just add the music Oh my gosh, I'm sorry. And then just add the music in and then upload it back to YouTube. So it sounds like a big process, but it really is not. It's not that confusing and I don't know. So that's all that I do for that. And then once you're done with it, you just put a title on it and then hit publish. De depending on your defaults, 
mine always show up private, but you'll have to play around with your own defaults to figure that out. But yeah, that's pretty much all that goes into the YouTube editor. I personally think that it's a really user-friendly tool, and I also like that it stores all of your videos. Like for my channel tra trailer on my beauty channel, I literally just took these clips and like split them up and made a little trailer until I could film something new. So I like that option. I'm going to link my favorite YouTube royalty-free artist down below. Go to his page and you can download his music for free and you can monetize your videos. So I only use my videos from this guy. His name is Techno Axe, and I'm going to link him down below because he's awesome. And I think it's really important to support our fellow YouTubers too when we're using music. So, so yeah, if you guys have any Chromebook questions or video questions or like how I edit my videos in Chromebook or how I like my Chromebook, just let me know and I will do a video on that. I hope this helped you guys somewhat and just keep in mind too that YouTube editor isn't only for Chromebook you can use it on any computer so if you don't like the editor that comes in your computer or you don't really understand it or you just have something really simple to do the YouTube editor is going to work for that too so keep that in mind thank you guys so much for watching and I will talk to you guys in my next video bye I had a lot of problems when I first got a Chromebook I'm gonna look at you guys hold on this is weird I'm just like talking. Holy crap, that is so close up. So yeah, I had a lot of problems with the, and I think my tripod's crooked, but anyway, I had a lot of problems with the YouTube editor when I first, that is not what I'm trying to say. Oh my gosh. What I'll do is once I've edited this video in YouTube editor, this sounds super confusing, I'm sorry. It's not really. Once I've downloaded this video in YouTube editor or pu published it, okay. But one thing you'll notice about this video, you guys can't even see it. I'm such an idiot. Okay. Hey guys. Okay, I don't know why this text is on here. This is super annoying me. Yeah. So, yeah, I hope that helped you guys. This, I feel like this is a really long video. I don't know. I'll just show you what that looks like. I obviously wouldn't do it here. Okay, I don't know why this happened. Sometimes it'll come up with that error sign that just showed up. Just click out of it and it'll go away. I don't know why it does that. So that's... Hey guys. So I... The fuck? I'm going to...